Hi everyone, hope you're okay. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to use a bar model to show a pair of equivalent fractions. So what we've got here is a pair of equivalent fractions. So three fifths is equal to six tenths. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a bar to represent each of those. Now this is like the bars on a fraction grid where you can see a whole, then two halves, then three thirds and so on. Okay, this is on the next page of the slideshow. Okay, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna just look at how we could represent these two. The key part is to remember that your bar should be equal in length. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick the biggest denominator. Now remember the denominator is the bottom number and the biggest number is 10. So I'm gonna draw my bar model so I can make sure that I can fit 10 parts in it. So I'm gonna do it up to 10 centimeters. So here is my bar of 10. So what I need to do is I need to mark each centimeter and then I can draw the boxes. We're going to do the same now for fifths. Okay, so I need to make sure my bar is the same length. So it has to go up to 10. However, this time I only want it split into fifths. So I'm going to mark it every two centimetres. You should all be fine with splitting up a grid like this. So now how are we going to show that three fifths and six tenths are equivalent? Well I'm going to get two different colours so I'm going to pick green first of all and I'm going to shade it in. So six tenths so one two three four five six is equivalent to three fifths and we can see that because we're colored up to this exact same amount so when it's asking you to use a bar model to rep to show the pair of equivalent fractions this is what i want you to do